Hey there guys, how's it going? Uh, so I just wanted to make a quick little video talking about the Glacier's response in regards to the negative feedback they were getting in regards to the anniversary, both on Twitter and on Reddit. So there's been a decent couple of responses here, and I can leave the full thread where she talks a couple more times in response to a couple more people. Uh, but basically, the gist of it is, I believe, first things first, the anniversary event that they were setting up, uh, sorry, the, the Dandelion fan meetup has taken up a lot of their time, and it is because of that they haven't been quick to respond on Twitter or on Reddit or on anywhere else. And I think that's honestly contrib contributed to what has honestly been a rather lackluster anniversary. What they do want to communicate though is that all the events that we've been having throughout the month of April have all been part of the anniversary, at least that's what they're saying. If that's the case, then that's fine, but if that is the case, and they really did drop the ball this week in terms of the content, we pretty much only had that one Lux challenge, and that, that challenge is a joke, I'm sorry. Like, I get they must have been very, very, very busy, that's totally fine, but if that's the case, you didn't just say that you were busy and that the real content's coming out in the Dandelion meeting, like, this this week has not been good for content at at all. There's been new banners, which in my opinion aren't content at all because you can give us all the new medals all you want, but if we don't have anything to do with them, if we can't beat any new content, then then it isn't new content. Like it's just it's just a pretty new picture to put on alongside all the pretty new pictures that were at one point relevant and powerful and are now, you know, laughably bad. <laughs> Um, all the quests in the first week that we had apparently all count, but again, they didn't communicate that. They didn't say that, hey, the whole month of April this year we're considering to be our anniversary month, and therefore, not only the anniversary countdown quest, but the time attack quest as well, and the super challenging quest, the, the super challenge power quest, whatever it's called, that's all anniversary content, so enjoy that for the entire month. Um, we're going to be going to set up the event this week, so we won't be around, for, like, you won't be around from pretty much the week starting at the 9th of April to like, I don't know, the 16th, I guess, until when the Dandelion meeting has already started. So just hold on tight for that, and then we'll be back after that with more content. Uh, if they said that, people's expectations would have been so much more tempered. As it stands right now, they created an event called Anniversary Countdown, and that, that event gave out 1,400 free jewels and brooms and mirrors and all the rest. They gave out a time attack event, which gave out more jewels, and then they finally put out one more event which gave out a, like a, a thousand more jewels. Then they give out three thousand jewels on the day itself, and like, no, sorry, and and that um, and that challenge searching finding event, whatever. And that's pretty much it. And it was like, you just had a countdown, it got us all hyped up. It was like, you know, three days, two days, one day, it's here, it's nothing. It's three thousand jewels as a reward, which I mean, I'm grateful to have, but. They have definitely set a precedent in the past that would make a lot of people go, we expected more than that. Again, if they'd said, you're getting free jewels, but you have to earn them. Here, this week, go out and earn a thousand jewels here. Here, and this challenge, go out and earn another, earn another thousand jewels. People would have been like, okay. And just sort of mentally started counting them as free jewels that they were already getting towards their anniversary counter, if you will. As it stands right now, people think, we only got three, we only got 3,000 jewels you know, literally given to us, plus another thousand jewels um, through the event on the actual day itself. And to be honest, they set the precedent in the past of the anniversary day being the important day, not the entire month leading around it. I mean, let's think about the Illustrated Kyrie and Illustrated Sora banner, uh, Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie and Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora banner that came out this time last year. Those banners were, that was a freaking amazing banner, right? That Kari medal was a five pool mercy and opened up an entire new world of possibilities to me. I could beat the Moogle of Glory quest finally. I could beat Proud Mo quest finally. I could beat um, a uh, high school challenge quest finally because that gauge restore was huge at the time. It was such a huge mechanic. And I know that North America doesn't have any sway on which medals come out when, basically. The Japanese version makes them. They give them out to us when they feel that, you know, when they decide is the right time. They were clever last year because they timed it so that Kairi was given to us exactly on anniversary, which it made a lot of sense and gave them so much goodwill towards them. This year they didn't quite, I don't know if put in effort is the right word, but I mean, even if they just said, hey, tier eights, we'll introduce tier eights now. That was loud. We'll introduce tier eights now for anniversary. I mean, that could have made a bit of a difference. I mean, like, oh, cool, anniversary, tier eights are here. I mean, they would have had to slow the game down about three weeks or so, but so what? I mean, I don't know. They gave it an anniversary jewel banner, which was nice, but again, we've already had one of those. It's honestly expected at this point, given that Japan's had three of them already. It's like, 
yeah, that would that's pretty much expected on an anniversary, which is going to give us anywhere between two to, I suppose, twenty-four thousand jewels. But I mean, that's obviously not going to happen. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to get too much into this, but if they'd managed expectations a little bit better, I think they wouldn't have had this much mess on their hands. But at the same time, they're only human. They're extremely busy setting up this event, so I can cut them some slack. I think if they if the dandelion meeting comes along and there's new story information there's new story quests there's um things to do most importantly for god's sake things to do and a few extra jewels here and there wouldn't hurt either i think they win back tons of the goodwill and just like she's coming out and apologized and said look i've been extremely busy i didn't communicate it properly and honestly if we just had like a couple more events this week i would have been totally happy with it i would have been like you know what it's nothing amazing but Dandelion meeting is still a week away. Let's hold off judgment till then. It just it just happened to happen that on the day of the anniversary, it was just like this total blackout. And it was like, man, that really sucks. And all the people that were just ready to let loose at the Twitter and the Reddit accounts, just they just went for it. And you should always treat people with respect. I was going to say I don't blame them, but I'll, I'll preface that by saying you should always treat the people that you're talking to on the, on the other end. With respect, you know, they're freaking human beings doing the best job that they can. I, 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 I sincerely believe that. So, as long as there's respectful criticism, then I totally believe that, yeah, they deserve some this time. I mean, obviously, they were extremely busy, and it's unfortunate that it's Glacy and the community members that are taking the flack instead of, you know, maybe hiring other people to set up your event and keep your commu community members on to be talking all this good stuff during the anniversary, you know? be going, oh, thank you so much for playing, we, we really appreciate that you were here this whole time, whatever, 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 like, I don't know, it's meant to be a celebration of this fun time that we've had together over the past two years, and not just like, have a past avatar board, have a banner, have another banner, have another banner, and the last two are for medals that, you know, friggin' Arva and Gaul are medals that we don't really care about anymore, and they're only there, I'm assuming, to set up a high score challenge later on, like, I don't know. Just one last little thing. Um, the last statement that she's got down the bottom there, I really want to touch on that because um, uh, Cheese Taco says, even if we get mountains of content after the dandelion meeting on Saturday, it would just feel like too little too late, you know? Uh, and then she responds by saying, the plan was to have the anniversary event stretched out across the whole month of April. I can see now the players were expecting something completely different, so we'll be sending this feedback over to our dev team. Okay, here's the thing. Last anniversary, you made it explicitly on that date. I don't recall, and maybe this is my memory lapsing, but I don't recall any massive lead up or lead out to the anniversary. It was just, that was the day. And obviously the banners lasted more than one day, but it was, the big day was that anniversary day. Um, saying that I can see now the players were expecting something completely different. I don't know quite what she's saying there, because is she saying that the plan was to have anniversary events stretch across the entire month and the players weren't expecting events? Or is it the players were expecting one big day of content, not stuff interspersed over the entire day? If it was stuff interspersed over the entire day, uh, over the entire month rather, we would have been fine with that, but just tell us that. Just say that we're not going to have one big giveaway on the one big day. It's content you've got to earn during the entire month. And we'll be like, okay, fine, but you've told us that. You've told us it's the anniversary month and we know that now. Not We're going like, imagine, imagine leading up to Christmas and you're waiting every single day and you get a few little nice things before Christmas Day, and then the day actually comes, or whatever important day that you celebrate, and Christmas Day comes, and you get like, like, you know, a couple of bucks, and you're like, here you go, buddy. Put those with all the ones you've got beforehand, and you'll get some more in, you know, on New Year's, and you're like, but aren't we, aren't we all here to celebrate the anniversary? Aren't we all here to celebrate Christmas today? And they go, oh yeah, yeah no, no, it, it, was, it was the entire month, so half of your presents are coming off in a couple of weeks. You'd be like, well, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have gotten all my hopes up for today. I, I think... I'm rambling, obviously, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Like, if they just set expectations up a little bit better... And I get they would must have been enormously busy, right? They probably have pressure from Japan coming over, like, you need to get this right. Friggin' Nomura... Bloody Nomura is coming over, and he expects this, this, and that, and we want to treat him right, and you need to get the convention center all set up, and you need to get, you know, all these tickets, whatever, as well as managing the anniversary. I imagine it's a hard task, but... Yeah, it's uh, miscommunication is the big thing here, and that's that's a big problem with this, this game in general. But I honestly think the community members have done a great job in general since they've come on. I think things have been really, really good for the game in general. The mini charity events, I don't know if they were a local idea or a Japanese idea, but either way, they're great. Um, they're just even if the the jewels don't even matter. It's like 
quizzing about knowledge about the game itself that we're all playing here. That's that's good. I, I like that. I really do like that idea. And I don't know. I just want everyone to be having fun with it. So hopefully you guys can all put your pitch fox away for at least another week and just hope that more content comes. Hope that the dandelion meeting delivers. I don't know. Whatever you're hoping for. And maybe just keep your expectations a bit lower next time. And maybe they shouldn't do so much to raise them next time. And if, if they're not going to give us big rewards on the day itself, then they should probably tell us next time. But anyway, guys, I'll leave the thread in the description, guys, so you can have a little read through. This is like my 30th take of this video. I don't know why I can't quite get it right. But anyway, guys, I think that's all I want to say for now. So I'll catch you later. All the best.